Hey, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. All right. So um, we're going to go ahead and hop into the messages, guys. Please remember that these are general. Okay. Everything is not going to resonate for everybody. Only take what is for you and leave the rest for someone else. All right. Time and energy are fluid. I could be picking up on past, present, or future energy. Your energy, the energy of someone around you, someone thinking about you, or someone who you are thinking about, okay? This is for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Anywhere that you have Libra in your chart, you may resonate with this reading. Cross watchers, there may be a message here for you as well, Okay. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Holy Spirit, please give me clear and accurate messages for the Libra Collective at this time. Please put this, whew, please put the spirit of protection around me as I channel the messages for this reading. Guardians and ancestors, spirit guides, I ask for your help and protection to channel these messages for the Libra Collective. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. I say any negative energy spell work, evil eye being sent this way, I ask that it is returned to sender tenfold and are transmuted into more positive energy. Amen. All right, let's get into it, Libra. Libra. If you guys need anything from me, everything you need is in the description box below. If you want to book a personal, if you want to um, donate to the channel, or if you just want to shoot me an email, everything you need is below. Libra, who being stubborn? Hmm. Who's being stubborn, Libra? Ooh, there may be some conflict going on. You may you may have conflict with a stubborn person. Hmm. So you could be seeing seven seven. The number seventy seven may be significant. Somebody could be born in seventy seven. Or you could be seeing seven 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 seventy seven seventy seven. Something like that. Okay. What's going on with Libra? You are showing up, justice energy. Oh, eleven, eleven is out here. Okay, with the synchronicities, something about eleven thirty-eight a.m. or p.m. could be significant. Somebody could be thirty-eight. Somebody could have an eleven-year-old. Something about January the first, March eighth, or July the seventh, which is an upcoming date. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's like a yeah, two days. Okay, something about the next two days, maybe. Um. Somebody, huh, somebody being stubborn. I feel like somebody's trying to tell somebody something or maybe warn somebody of something. This could be spirit maybe trying to warn you of something that you're not paying attention to, that you don't want to hear. You do have the justice card out here, okay? Um, this could also be you could be frustrated with someone because you could feel like they're not listening to you or somebody is just being stubborn and arrogant, Okay. Hmm. Let's see. What is this energy? It's almost like you just, you're frustrated with somebody. I feel like because you don't because they're you feel like they're not listening to you or they don't or something like that, and you just want things to be equal. You know, you just want to be treated fairly. You just want things to be fair to be balanced, or you want to fix something or balance something out. And it's like somebody is giving you a hard time about it, or somebody's like just getting on your nerves, Libra, or frustrating you. Like, I don't know. Now, this could be you making somebody else feel this way. I don't know. Switch the energies as needed, okay? What is this? See, that memory card came out and it was just on the bottom of the deck. This. Remembrance memory. Something, some type of reunion or something about that. What's memory? I feel like you guys are reminiscing about something, okay? You got the open book here with the memory card and then. This person is looking in a book. You guys may be looking through like um, a photo album or, and this could be on like social media. You know how they have those memories, those stories or whatever from however many years ago. Uh, you could be like looking at old photos or somebody's looking at your photos or maybe you're looking at an old album of some kind or something like that. 
for Libra. Conflict. See, that conflict card came out. Are you guys remembering some type of conflict that you had with somebody? Or somebody's remembering a conflict they had with you? Or you may be about to have a conflict with somebody? What is this? See, live and learn. Yeah, I feel like this is the past. So I feel like somebody's remembering a conflict that the two of you had, whether this is you or another person that you had this conflict with. But I'm feeling like this is the past. This is past energy. And it's like you live and learn. You know, you had that experience with this person or this person is learning some type of lesson do and it's like reminding them of some type of conflict that you had or this person is learning some type of lesson and they feel like they're remembering a conflict or uh, whatever that you guys had or this could be you learning live and learn you know not to deal with this person anymore whoever this is Okay, you have sweetheart popping out here. So this could have been somebody that you, yeah, wow. This could have been somebody that you were in a relationship with here, okay? That you could have lost. Yeah, you could have broke up with this person or something ended here. This could be a child's mother or, you know, baby daddy, baby mama, child's mother, child's father. Um, Somebody could be grieving a loss of some kind here. Or something's coming to an end. This 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 feels like a relationship. Cause I'm seeing the third party card pop up. You got homeless out here. And then third wheel. Yeah. And then hesitation on the bottom of the deck. Decision. Confusion and worry. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, I feel like somebody's, I'm hearing a seven-year relationship or seven-year marriage, okay? Or something like that. Could Something about seven. Could have been seven years, seven weeks, seven months, I don't know, um, that somebody was together or something happened seven months ago, seven weeks ago. Somebody could have recently broken up with somebody or lost somebody. Um, This person could have um gotten, like, moved out of the house or gotten kicked out of the house or something like that but i feel like it it, it it has something to do with the third wheel with another person here enemy distrust flirtatiousness somebody was doing something behind somebody's back and i feel like they they probably got called and then the situation ended and they got kicked out or something like that that could be what this conflict is about and that could be what this person is remembering like oh shit somebody could be like damn i fucked up all right you could have been telling this person, um, giving this person warnings and signs and things like that. You could have been telling this person that you were frustrated with the connection and or, you know, trying to express how you felt with this person. For some of y'all, this is your 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 twin, your soulmate or whatever, because you got 1111 11 out here. OK, um, you could have been voicing your concerns and expressing your opinions and things like that um, to this person. And they weren't listening to you with the stubbornness card here. OK. But now this person is remembering like, oh, shit, Libra did say that, you know, this was an issue or Libra did say or, you know, Libra did try to warn me or whatever, whatever, you know, but I did the shit anyway. Somebody could have had a baby on, on somebody like while they were in a relationship. Somebody could have had a child with another person here. Um, Somebody could have also lost a child or somebody's pet could have passed away recently or somebody could have lost a child. But I'm really feeling like this is a third party situation where, you know, somebody just stepped outside of the relationship and it, you know, had some disastrous consequences here. Okay. Yeah. Yep, somebody made a decision. Ooh, somebody was being fake. Ooh, now they want to apologize, child, and they want to compromise. Oh, it was just an accident. I didn't mean to do it. Will you marry me? I'm sorry. Let's be together forever. And you're like, uh-uh, no, thank you to that temptation. Somebody trying to trap you. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny. But just the way that the cards are lining up and coming out, it's just like, 
Wow. Somebody was just blindly doing something here, not worrying about the consequences, being fake here, okay, acting, trying to hide some shit, acting like they wasn't doing nothing. You got 924 right here, so somebody's birthday could be September 24th. Um, yeah, this is Libra, 924. Um, now somebody wants to apologize here, okay? They want to compromise. They want to come to some type of reconciliation or agreement or something like that here. They were like, oops, it was an accident. It was an accident that you got somebody pregnant, what? Or whatever happened. That, that's not for everybody, but whatever happened, okay? Um, they were like, oops, it was an accident. Sorry, didn't mean to do it. Will you marry me? Like, are y'all seeing this? Can y'all see these? Will you marry me? I want to love you and be together with you forever. You my soulmate. And they, and you feel like this person is trying to bribe you because they are. You have trap right behind this. This person is trying to trap you in some type of way. And you 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 like, um, no, no, thank you. I don't want that. I'm not going to fall into your little trap. Or this talks about somebody with a victim mentality. Now they want to play victim because they got caught or because something didn't work out on the other side the way that they thought here and now they feeling all sad and depressed and they scared what you scared of hmm what you scared of Chaba. all right somebody could be getting locked up see oh somebody done got caught up in a situation see what i'm talking about that they don't want to be in they done messed around and had a child with somebody and now they feel like a prisoner in some type of relationship that they don't really want to be in or some type of situation that they wish that they never put themselves in or they don't want to be in. Now they feel they feel obligated. They This could be somebody who now has some type of financial obligations to a child and all because they wanted to step outside of their relationship or their marriage or something like that. Now you're stuck dealing with somebody that you don't want to deal with for the rest of your life here. Yeah, look, look at the separate privacy. Uh, it says separate privacy online connect online community. Um, yeah, but these two people they aren't talking or this is you not talking to this person. Somebody's not talking here. Laying in the same bed, not even wanting to look at each other. Both of them probably over there cheating. Look, they both on the phone. They both probably cheating. <laughs> by loneliness feeling isolated like, like, like oh the worst feeling in the world is to be with somebody or be in a relationship and still feel alone that's not a good feeling and that's how somebody is feeling right now but that's not you because i believe you over here you having fun you going out with your friends you got joy friendship interaction self-love you over here loving yourself you like hey cool you getting back to the basics, getting back to yourself. Yeah, you relax. Look at that. You worry about nothing. Libra, you worry about nothing. You got family here. Some of you have... <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Oh, my gosh. I told y'all this was a past person that done caught, got caught up in some shit that they... They thought that they wanted, but now they don't want anymore. Look at the family here. This is this looks like the fakest smiles ever. Look how he cheesing. Just fake. Fake child. We already saw the person was wearing the mask, honey. Just fake, fake cheese and fake smile. And meanwhile, look at him trying to get out of the damn commitment. <laughs> I can't. Oh my gosh. Yeah, getting advice on try on how to like how they can get out of this trying to oh my gosh this person may be talking to a lawyer or something if this is a marriage somebody's trying to get out of a situation child they done got caught up in <sighs> mm -mm. all right let's see <laughs> what's going on here all right somebody's birthday could be october 11th october the 20th september 27th september 30th um october 21st october 13th somebody could be 53 37 21 20 30 27 all right somebody may have a 13 year old somebody could have a 20 year old 21 year old 
I said 11 earlier, didn't I? All right, what's going on here? What's the energy? Mm. Somebody's jealous. I'm hearing, um, I get so lonely. Can't let this anybody hold me. You are the one that lives in me, my dear. I want no one but you. That's how somebody's feeling, child. They jealous if you dealing with another situation. Whether you dealing with another person or not, this person's jealous. They're probably just jealous because they caught up in some this this stuff that they don't want to be in. They attached to this third party now. And they want to get out of it. They 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 feel like they're suffering a loss of you. Alright. What's the energy? Break it down, break it down. <laughs> oh, what's the energy, child? What is the energy? All right, yeah, star status popping out. Somebody could be an Aquarius. You can have Aquarius in your chart. Okay, or this is just you. Star status, star quality, minding your business, doing your thing. Like, you could be in the public eye. You could have some type of platform. This person, again, like I said, they could be watching you. For some of you, this may have something to do with work or a boss or co-workers or something like that. It says work gossip, okay? Um, somebody could have hooked up with somebody that they worked with, okay? Again, like I said, a boss or co-worker or something like that here, okay? Wow. So you have a single mother and unexpected engagement. So you could be the single mother... This person, I don't know, it's a single mother and unexpected engagement. Are you guys meeting somebody? Now, this may be this person because I said they got caught, they're caught up in a commitment here that they are trying to get out of or don't want to be in, or you know, that they regret um, something that they regret doing with another person here. So this could be like your um this could be your baby's father and they left you as a single mother and they went and got, you know, married or engaged to somebody else here. Um or this is you that may be getting an unexpected engagement and gonna shock a whole lot of people. And maybe that's why that I get jealous card um wanted to pop up. Yeah, because I told you, self-peace is key. You're, you're focused. You're worried about yourself. Anything else? Okay. Nothing else is coming out here. We got loving man on the bottom of the deck. See, yeah, I told y'all. <laughs> I told y'all, y'all about to get into a relationship or something like that. And some of you could even get pregnant or be pregnant or something like that here. But it says, I get jealous. This could also be this person who's over there playing house with this other person. Ooh, my ear started ringing super loud. This could be this other, you know, person that got the person pregnant right and they over there all happy and bullshit now this could be y'all this jealous i ain't gonna say libra you can't be jealous i don't know that's not for everybody i don't don't mean getting in the comments of, i ain't jealous of nothing okay well i'm not talking to you okay if some people if you want to be honest with yourself then be honest with yourself if you don't then hey you know that's on you but anyways some of you you're getting in a relationship with a new person and you could be uh getting pregnant there's going to be somebody who's jealous here. This is an ex of yours or whoever, okay? Child, somebody feel like you stole their man or, see, we're pregnant. I can't make it up, y'all. Mm, did y'all steal somebody's man, Libra? Somebody wants your forgiveness. Again, we're seeing that apology coming out here. Mm. Some of you need to watch watch somebody around your man too. 
okay, or you woman, but I'm just saying man because this says living boyfriend and this this thief card is this woman looking all seductive and like she ain't up to no damn good here. There is somebody um if you are in a in a relationship currently or when you do get in one, there's going to be there's somebody around you. And again, this is not for everybody. See, third party relationship. There's somebody around you or around your person and came, male or female, that is jealous or will be. And you won't have to watch that heifer or that Negro because or that uh, person. <laughs> because they're a thief and they're going to try to steal your person. For some of y'all. This has already happened. Somebody feels like they stole your person, but it's like, girl, guy, I'm moving on. I'm okay. It's like, you can have that. It's fine. Okay. But anyway, take whichever way it resonates with you. What's going on with Libra? <laughs> See? Yep. Yeah, look, somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. And this has jealousy showing up again. But now they over there in that... Fake grass, unhappy. What's going on with Libra? What's the energy? What's the energy? Child, see, wedding. Somebody got married. Unexpected engagement and wedding coming out here. This may be... Some of you may be getting married unexpectedly, meeting the person that you're going to marry. You may be engaged already, um, or this could be someone around you, someone in your energy. What's the energy? See, family popping up again. have family popping up again with magnetic attraction i'm gonna need more than that please what is this for some people this was just a lust thing um whoever this person is that went for the third party and ended up committing to them or or getting tied up in some type of um contract or whatever with them whether it's like marriage or whether it's like them having a child together that they have to raise together um this was a lust thing okay it started out as a lust thing and then they now that they you know the rose colored glasses came off now they like uh what did i do what did i get myself into all right All right, so you have romantic feelings and hookup and then wedding and fear. See, look, man. <laughs> yeah, anxiety and fear around this wedding. <sighs> so, somebody fell in love with somebody who... um either was supposed to be a one night stand or a casual thing or friends with benefits or something like that. Um, I'm also feeling like somebody stepped out on their family here and fell in love with somebody else or somebody that they hooked up with. Okay. I'm just seeing like two different energies because I'm getting if your person, if you are resonating with the fact that your person stepped out on you and had a baby on you or somebody ghosted you, stopped talking to you and they ended up being with somebody else, getting married to somebody else or somebody or your best friend stole your person or whatever or slept with your person or whatever. I'm getting that for one energy, this was all about lust and sex. For another energy, they had... Like they were, they fell in love with this person. They had other things on their mind from the get go, or the or some somebody's attraction or feelings or whatever are deeper than the other person. Okay, 
You got me feeling emotions deeper than I ever felt. But I feel like um the the person that uh you know the person that was only in it for like the lustful situation, the lustful intentions got caught up and you know they ended up again creating some type of bond to this person, okay? Whether it's like marriage, whether they had a child together or whatever, it's one of the two, something, and now they feel stuck. Split it on ex lover. Anything else? Break up. Hmm. All right. So there's a breakup, or there was. This is either you breaking up with this person, walking away from this person, or this person is going through a separation with whoever they were dealing with now, or they want to, okay? But I feel like for some of them, either they're in the process of divorcing, breaking up, separating. With this travel card here, it says distance, boundaries, far apart, and getting away. They're trying to get away from this person. Somebody's trying to get away from a situation here, okay? This could be you that, you know, distance yourself from this from this person, or they're trying to get away from whoever it is that they're in a situation with. Because remember, they're stressed out and depressed and frightened and scared and all that stuff. And they want to come in and apologize to you. But you're dealing with a player, a manipulator here. All right. All right, guys. So I'm going to leave this message here. I hope this helped somebody. I will see y'all in the next reading. Until then. Peace, love, prosperity, and abundance to y'all, all right? Bye, my loves.